hello everyone welcome back to the channel daddy cleave here today i am taking you back to south korea precisely in guangzhou where you have guangzhou institute of science and technology it is important for me to state here that this is a very important university in south korea and it is one of those universities where if you succeed in graduating in one of their programs that is either during your undergraduate masters or phd you will be put towards the path to obtain a permanent resident to stay in south korea after graduation they have their graduate program that has been launched for spring semester next year and fall semester next year without taking too much of your time let's get into the details of this scholarship i have another video on the channel on postco scholarship which is currently ongoing if you've not yet watched that video you might want to go watch that video because that scholarship is currently ongoing it is a tutorial on how to apply for postco scholarship it is another very important scholarship in south korea so if you look here normally you're supposed to begin by creating a username that you would use to apply but because the application period has not yet started the apply button is not active which means you cannot create an account to start the application you would have to wait until the 1st of september 2023 to begin with your application but you can go ahead and read the application guide which is here the application guide has every detail that will help you during the application process which means it is very important that you go through the application guide and read it thoroughly i usually tell people that getting a scholarship to study in south korea is very easy the problem is that most students don't usually follow the application guide to see what is required of them and that is why they usually fail in their application to study in south korea i am speaking as somebody who has studied in south korea where i did my masters and phd now let's get back to the application portal so it says here semester of entrance spring semester that is beginning march next year 2024 you would have to apply from the 1st of september 2023 right up to the 13th of october 2023 that is when the online portal will be active if you want to study in march next year 2024 but if you want to study in september 2024 then you would have to prepare to start the application as from the 1st of march to april 15 2024 that is when the online application portal for those who want to study during the fall semester in 2024 it is very important that you take note of the deadlines and prepare accordingly i usually tell people that preparation meets success once you prepare well for any application for any scholarship there is a high chance that you will succeed in your application there is document examination which will take place for 15 days document review 30 days and then notification of admission will begin from the 8th of december 2023 and then for fall it will be from june 4th and then registration for those who will succeed in the application will begin in december 26 right up to the 5th of january 2024 but for those who want to apply for fall it will be from june 25th to july 5th 2024 it is important that you take note of the deadlines and prepare accordingly so that you will not face any problem with the preparation period because there are documents that you would have to notify now let's look at the scholarship benefits they would waive your tuition fee that is 100 it is supported 100 but there is a matriculation fee which is 680,000 korean won that you would have to pay this is a one-time payment which means you pay at the very beginning of the semester but there is a condition that you can fulfill to have this matriculation fee waived they say if students submit a letter of recommendation for matriculation fee waiver from the dean or head of your department college you may be eligible for a fee waiver so if you can get a letter of recommendation for matriculation fee waiver from your dean or your head of department of your university that you graduated from or from a university that you will be graduating from that you did your undergraduate that is for those who are applying for a master's or from a university where you did your master's degree that is for those who are applying for a phd degree if you can get a letter of recommendation from your dean or head of department then 
you might be eligible for this fee to be waived if not you would have to pay it but it is a one-time payment and then there is also a monthly stipend and research assistantship student allowance is 140,000 korean won for masters of science student and 295,000 won for phd student there is a meal allowance which is 100,000 for ms and 100,000 for phd and then international students will receive an extra 120,000 won for MS and 120,000 won for PhD and then they would also support your research there is this amount of money that has been reserved for your whole research period that is for master students it's two years that money has been reserved for research and then for PhD student 12 million five hundred and ten thousand Korean won has been reserved for the three years of PhD studies at Kwangju Institute of Science and Technology so you would not have any problem with doing your research in that university but there are other conditions that must be fulfilled students must complete at least nine credit in their previous semester for above one and two gpa of three or higher out of 4.5 in the previous semester for above three so for you to have student allowance and meal you must take at least nine credit and pass and for you to have this money 120,000 won, you must have at least three 0.0 GPA or higher on a scale of 4.5 in your previous semester which means you'll get into the university for the first semester for free and you'll receive all of the first three but after your first semester that is going to your second semester they would have to evaluate and decide if you are eligible to receive one two three one two three before they would provide it you would have to make sure you have at least a GPA of three or higher on a scale of 4.5 before they would give you one two three and then flight they would reimburse your flight that is one way flight into south korea which means they will pay after you must have paid they will reimburse means you would pay first and then once you're in korea they would give you back the money and then they will support 60 percent of your national health insurance this is a must every student in south korea supposed to have a health insurance the korean national health insurance and then there are other mandatory documents you must provide them you have to apply online you have to provide your official degree and transcript that is for all undergraduate and graduate degree programs so that is if you are applying for a master's you have to provide the official degree and transcript of your undergraduate program and then if you are applying for phd you have to provide undergraduate and graduate that is undergraduate or bachelor's and master's degree certificate and transcript and then you have to make sure they are notarized which means you would notarize at the korean embassy and then scan and upload online once you've succeeded with the application process they will then ask you to provide the hard copies you have to post them to the university it is very important that you take note of that and then you have to provide two letters of recommendation it is important to note that you would have to provide emails of your recommenders and then they would email them and then they would send their recommendation letter directly to the university no hard copies and then you would have to equally provide a copy of your passport official english test score so you would have to make sure you have at least 80 for your toefl and then alts is 6.5 toic 750 and then teps you have to have 285 but it is important to note that english proficiency can be waived if you did your undergraduate from a university that uses english as a medium of instruction so it says here any student admitted to the institute with conditional admission due to unavailable of english test result must submit the official english test result that met the application criteria of the institute to the department office within six months from the date of admission any person who has conditionally admitted to the institute but fail to fulfill the requirements stated above will automatically be removed from the school register seven months after the date of admission. This document is very important. Here, if you have a certificate of English language proficiency issued by your home university, you're good to go. If you have one of the English test score, you're good to go. If you don't have any of the two, then know that you will face the information that has been posted here. It is very important that you take note of that and then the application process like i said will be online you would have to upload your documents online and then most importantly the deadlines spring semester beginning of september right up to the 14th of october and then for fall semester 
from the 1st of March right up to the 14th of April. That being said, I'm going to end the video here.